Since 2009, the National Trust and a team of volunteers have brought about a huge transformation in the kitchen garden at Florence Court. Over the past year, thanks to the Heritage Lottery players, we have been able to bring the project to the next level. My name is David Crosscadden. I'm the lead gardener of the Kitchen Garden Project. That's right, I came four years ago. Um, it was a job that was advertised. I was very interested in it and happily I've been here ever since. We've got, we've got two acres here and we have about three quarters of that now fully under cultivation. That's with vegetables but also uh, attractive um, herbaceous borders. We have soft fruit uh, and we're looking to expand a lot of the things that we do here now. We've had some funding. We have the Ulster Garden Scheme who help us uh, with funding. We're also now looking to work with the Heritage Lottery Fund to replace the two glass houses that would have been here originally and are a very important part in making the garden work. So far, it's been a, it's been a brilliant success. We just got voted, uh, the readers of Garden News have just said we're one of the best uh, 100 gardens in the UK, so that's not bad in four years. I'm uh, Jules Caithness, I'm a retired GP. Um, I just happened to retire about the time the pilot study was being done here and I thought this might be fun to join in with this. And, and then the person who was in charge actually suddenly left and I was left basically running the whole thing for a a couple of years. The National Trust employed a, a, a professional head gardener for a while and she, she left and then we got to David, our current one, who's taken things forward in leaps and bounds really. It's a lovely place to work and they're very friendly and interesting people. Um, we meet interesting visitors and um, of course we get to eat some of the produce if we're lucky. It's great fun with a lot of crack as they say and lots of hot tea and things. Yes, Philip McGovern from Florence Court here, Marble Arch. When I got involved through Jewels, Dr. Kate Ness, it was him, he, he got me in here. The time I was battling cancer at the time. Uh, of course, it hit me in 2013 and big time. So I packed in my work at that stage. And uh, no, just gone in the skill, and then it was big time after that. So I never worked after that. So I used to be in here twice a week. You work with the soil and taking out weeds or whatever you're at. It's good for mind and body. Ah, oh, the way it's good crack, you know, a good crack. And tea and buns, as you say. Yeah. <laughs> in the uh, I'm Caroline Nicholson. I think it was one of the rangers who stopped my late partner and myself and asked if we would like to do some volunteering. And um, we said, well, yeah, we'd think about it. And then I thought, well, yes, I could get my, my um, hobby into play again, so uh, that's how we started. Fresh air, exercise, and friendship. And the crack's good. <laughs> my name's Freddie Fraser. About four years ago, I retired from my own business and uh, found myself uh, with little to do, I suppose, throughout the daytime, and that's I uh, come involved through that. I have built various things, such as the, the bug house, arches, cold frames, uh, I seem to be the one that gets all uh, that type of work, which I enjoy doing. Well, the benefits would be, again, would be that you feel that you've done something, that you've created something. I suppose I would have been around this place for the last 30 years, either walking and running, and I thought, well, I well, should maybe put something back into that, because I did see it as a very, very small garden originally, and it's been created to this acre and a half site now or more. Oh, the crack can be good here. Yes, the battery can. That's something I must admit I miss because when I was in work for the last 30 odd, 40 years, I had a lot of people around me and uh, I found that the banter and the crack, and it's just a general chat where when you're at home all day long, you're just, I'm talking to myself. So yeah, here you can have the, the fun, like meeting people, meeting different, meeting customers coming through the, through the gardens. Yes, it's, it's very good that way. Um, my name is Peggy O'Donnell and I'm from Black Lion. I'm a very keen gardener and um, I had returned to Black Lion from having lived away from home for a long time and my sister who walks frequently in Florence Court had seen the sign uh, relating to volunteers so I went online, checked it out and here I am. 
So depending on the season or the day, we could be doing weeding, digging, planting, gathering fruit or vegetables for bringing down to the visitor centre. So it's really varied. I enjoy being outside. I enjoy working with the others. We, you know, we get on, we all get on very well. Lots of banter, good humoured banter and um, just it's good for exercise as well. For me personally it's been great. I'd really recommend it to anybody who has some free time on their hands. My name is Stephanie Day and I live in Enniskillen. I started in Florence Court in September 2017. I mean when I first came here I was a very nervous person because I didn't know what other people would think about myself and my son. Darren has a learning disability so I needed him to be interactive towards other people and of course I knew that he loved gardening so this is the opportunity for him 100%. When he first started in this garden he used to be very quiet, head down, shoulders down, no confidence and then to watch Darren grow it was just like a flower. I mean for myself, my friendship with the garden, I have got some lovely friends and the knowledge I've taken back to my own garden and it's been marvellous. I mean this morning I haven't been to the garden for two days and there's no worry anymore or nervousness. You just come in, have a cup of tea, have a chat, have a giggle and then start your work once David has assigned you with something. They, uh, there's a group of volunteers here who have been brilliant at working in the garden and the National Trust have put in a lot of money to put in the, the infrastructure like the paths, the hut, the water, the electricity, all those things which you need to get the garden running properly. So the National Trust and the volunteers together have made this possible, made this work. This is a beginning. We want to take what we've got and take it forward. Thank you to our amazing volunteers, supporters and Heritage Lottery players for giving us a helping hand to continue our ambitions to restore this wonderful historic garden.